Hi and welcome. My name is Rich Bassini. You're watching Let's Talk eBay for October 7, 2020. Thanks for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Hope you like the content and come back for more. Today, I want to do a little eBay uh, talk. Uh, I want to talk about you know getting the little cameras there, the action cameras. Uh, one I came across, which I found kind of interesting, was I got an email this morning uh, from Home Depot, if believe it, believe it or not. They're, they're actually selling action cameras. <laughs> believe it or not, they're actually selling action cameras. And the reason why I want to talk about that, uh, I'm going to do a little brief news too about eBay as well. I got one little uh, news thing from Tame Bay that I want to share with you guys really quick. Um, yeah, I thought it was kind of funny to see you know Home Depot sell it. Now, I know they sell security cameras and stuff like that, but I didn't think they were going to get in that business as far as selling action cams, you know. And I'm going to go to that site and show you in a second here, but I kind of found it amusing, you know. But anyway, I want to share some stuff with you guys with that there. Um, I also want to talk about uh, if, if you guys haven't created or thinking about starting a, a YouTube channel, there's a, a program, well, I came across it by accident, actually. It's called Adobe Spark, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, uh, but you could create YouTube channels with this here and supposedly it's for free and for those who are new and hit my channel for the first time I like to share information with you guys okay I, I put out free information I don't have any books or anything of that nature to sell you guys not yet anyway and anytime I come across things that I feel might be of help to you I, I will share that information with you guys so I hope you like the content I hope you keep coming back for more okay the more you keep coming back, the more you'll learn more about what's going on within the e-commerce world, you know. Because I also do the reseller news. That's how Let's Talk eBay, I do the reseller news. And I'm also a vlogger, so there may be times I may be vlogging about something different. Maybe about the software I use to create my, uh, my uh, videos or the software I use to create my um, website. You know, I share information that's, that's going to be pertinent, well, it's pertinent information. Hopefully, it'll be helpful to you guys as well. So I hope you guys get a takeaway from it. It's very important to me that you do uh, because it lets me know if I can get a thumbs up. It lets me know that, you know, hey, you know, this guy's sharing some good information. I didn't know about that. You know, it's one of those type of things. Hey, did you hear about this type of situation? So that's what my YouTube channel is all about, folks. Now, um, I'm going to break out of this window really quick. We're going to go to the uh, other windows I want to show you. And then um, hopefully we won't keep this video too long. But I want to share one thing with you really quick before I do jump into it. Um, I don't know if you guys follow. If you're new, you probably don't know. I had made a purchase a while back. Uh, eBay was giving out, um, what do you call it there, uh, $25 gift coupons to people who have been with eBay for a long time and for a number of years. I've been with eBay for 20, over 20 years. And uh, the coupon they gave was for 25 bucks. So I always wanted to use, I wanted to use it for something, right? I was I have plenty of toner ink, I have ink cartridges, you know, for my uh, all-in-one printer. So I said I don't need that. But I remember seeing a YouTuber, and which I am. Um, I seen it with this thing. I said, "What is this thing?" You know, I first seen. It, I said, "What is it?" You know, I mean, I, I'm not saying. You know, it's like, where have you been all this time? No, I mean, I, I'm familiar with you know uh, certain. Uh, camera apparatuses but I wasn't familiar with the gimbal well this is called a Vimble Vimble 2 it's from Firetech now I'm not doing a segue for them no one told me to contact you know, you know to do a little uh, segue in regards to advertising their product but the reason why I'm, I'm talking about this right now is uh, I love the product itself okay um, I bought this from eBay I got well thanks to eBay uh, they had this here used on their site on eBay uh, for thirty-eight dollars with best offer, I probably could have got it for thirty bucks, but I said, "Ah, eh, let me just pay the thirty-eight dollars." I know, right? Because especially me, I'm supposed to be Mr. Frugality here. Anyway, I didn't think about it. I figured it was cheap enough, you know. And it, it is pre-owned. Well, pre well, it says used, and um, I got it with the coupon, and I, I paid for this here with the kit, with everything that the case that came with it as well, with the, some accessories. Well, you know, accessories meaning it came with the uh, tripod. Okay, was the tripods included with it? And you could set this up like that there, and you know you could use it for face tracking or motion tracking, whatever. So this thing came in handy as well. It's, it's that's handy part right there. Anyway, the whole thing cost me sixteen dollars and change. Okay, uh, they offered free shipping, but I had to pay, of course, the state tax because I live in New York. But anyway, uh, I reached out. To, well, actually, I reached out to them in the beginning um, after I got it. Not long. I was trying to figure things out with it because, like I said, this is a new uh, thing to me, and uh, I couldn't get it through the face tracking. So. They reached out to me about maybe a week later, and they said to me, could you do a video explaining as to what's going on with it? 
So uh, I said, you know what? Why not? I did a brief video. I think it was either nine. I think it's ten minutes long. I put it on private so you won't see it. It's only going to be sent to them. I don't want to bore you guys talking to me, see me hold it. Because I, I, you know, in the video, I'm talking about my cell phone and, you know, the apps I got on there and how we download and all that other stuff. Uh, but anyway, so I'm waiting for them to reach out to me and see if this thing, I hope it ain't defective because if it is, hopefully they'll make good on it. And, uh, or it could be something on my phone app. All right. So we're going to see what happens with that there. I'll keep you guys posted. The, otherwise, it works great. I mean, outside the face tracking, it does everything it's supposed to do. It does every seriously. With all kidding aside, it does everything it's supposed to do. I have no problem with it whatsoever. Um, but what I want to talk to you, to, you know, to you guys about today, is what what brought this on is when I seen that uh, that advertisement from uh, Home Depot talking about action cameras. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. What I want to share with you guys. Um, if you're anything like me, like I said, I am very conservative and I am very frugal and I only buy at a necessity. Now, my take is this. If you guys out there are, you know, I follow some uh, eBay sellers that have YouTube channels and um, they do occasionally do yard sales and they go to garage sales and so on and so forth. And they'll walk in there with this GoPro strapped on there thing. That I seen a lot this one girl had it on there, I follow. And she has, they actually make harnesses where you could strap the GoPro on there and you could walk around. I don't know if people feel a little apprehensive with that in the sense that I don't know if they like to be videotaped on there. Um, one person I was watching, it was a young, another woman I was watching. She had a GoPro. She just bought it. I don't know if she got it for a gift or whatever. And she had it, the one that mounts on your hat. And she went to a yard sale and some kid, and that was the title. I got caught with the proto. You know, so he, he caught me with my, my GoPro or something like that. And she, go, you know, she was going to a yard sale and someone said, oh, what do you got there, a GoPro? And the kid goes, no, I think it was the sign. He goes, oh, look, she's got a GoPro in there. And you know, the, the lady there that was hosting the uh, yard sale was like, oh, you got a GoPro. You know? I don't know. If people don't like being on video, okay. Um, me, when I went, to, I did a video. I went to when I did my uh, my park, my national park over here, in my town. It's a pretty big park. Uh, it's in one of those videos. You can see it. I don't know where it is. It's in the midst of all those videos. So if you ever come across it, check it out. But every time I was doing a video, uh, and people would walk in front of me and stuff like that, I would turn the video away or edit it out. I didn't want to pe put people in there because technically. You know, they can complain and say, hey, you know, you're using, you know, you're videotaping me without my permission. Uh, so I didn't want no problem with that. So, you know, I, I first of all, if I was shooting videos, I was doing it at a distance where you couldn't see them. And I could also, if I did, mosaic them out, mosaic their face out, you know. But for the most part, anytime somebody cut in front of me, I paused my camera, well, my, my, I had my uh, iPhone, and I would just pause it, wait for the person to walk by, and then go on with my video. But for the most part, you know, this is, what I want to add. this is the point I'm trying to get across. I don't know if you guys have you how you feel about, uh, you know, using phones like that, GoPros or your phone. Um, I'll give you an example. The thrift store I deal with, they don't want no video photography in there whatsoever. They don't want, even though you go in with your phone, they don't want you to use it. They don't want you sitting there going like this. They, they, it's prohibited. When you, go in this, when you go into the thrift store, they have a sign there right in the front door. No video, uh, no videographing in the store. They don't want you doing it for some reason. I don't know. Store rules. That's it. So, and I don't want to get kicked out of the store or banned. Uh, that that the place I thr I go to, that thrift store I go to, there have been people that have been banned, believe it or not, because they're breaking rules in there and they weren't allowed to come back into the store. So uh, I don't want to violate any rules. If that's their rules, forget about it. You know, I just say forget it. You know, if I really wanted to, though, I'll give you an example. My camera is mounted right here. Now, if I wear a pocket shirt like I'm wearing now, I could just drop this in here. The camera still, the camera lens is still out, right? I could just hit this on before I go into the store and walk around with it. But I wouldn't do that, you know. I don't, because that's not that's not what you're supposed to do, you know. Uh, you know, they don't want it. It's it's against their policy. But I'm just saying, there are people that probably would do it. I haven't seen anybody in the thrift store doing it. Uh, walking around with their video. If I, then again, I don't follow everybody in there. I mean, I'm there for business only. I'm looking for stuff to sell. But there may be people that do stuff like that. But, I mean, you know, the same thing if you go into your yard sales or garage sale. You just drop it in your pocket like this here and, you know, walk around with it. But I'm not really into that stuff. I don't know if you guys are. But if you are, let me go over here and show you the window. Let me just show you something here really quick. Um, and then we'll talk about some other stuff I want to share with you guys. Okay. Here's what I was talking about. Here's the air I was talking about. Uh, as you can see over here on the upper left corner here, you can see it says Home Depot. 
And um, I found it kind of amusing because for the simple reason, I know people say, what's the big deal? They sell, you know, everybody's getting into the action. But I just find that, you know, me, I'm, I'm sorry, I just moved my water over here. Uh, I'm always looking at, you know, Home Depot for home repairs and stuff like that. I know they got security cameras. Hey, you know, there's even certain stores that are selling uh, supermarkets that are selling certain items, tools and things of that nature, <clears throat> at least around here, the ones I see. But anyway, looking at this here, uh, a lot of you people don't know if you know I like I said I am I have a person that likes to shop around before I make any commitment to buying anything that's just the way I am I've always been like that even growing up my parents brought me up like that they always shop 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 until you drop right no no but seriously um, you're always looking for the better deal but anyway so what I did is when I seen this and they have quite a bit of them over here too uh, they have others they have other uh, cameras as well but this one here came out to me as an, you know, I don't know how I got this as a, an alert or some kind of email setting. Uh, I don't know if I subscribed to them or not, but I don't think I did. And this came up. Now, I typed in here, it's an IPM camera. Now, for this is for people that are not like, well, not like me, people that, you know, there are people out there that do like to videotape. Um, they go into yard sales, garage sales, whatever. And maybe in some stores, they may, you know, have one of these things. This thing is compatible basically to a GoPro, the way the, way the person was talking about it. Um, however, their price is a lot more than what I've seen it for. Uh, for example, I went to uh, this website. What I did was I always, and I tell people this all the time, before I would make any commitment to buy anything, I would just copy and paste it like this here. And then what do you think I'm going to do, guys? Right? I'm going to go over here like this, and I hit uh, YouTube, right? I would hit YouTube, and that's what I did. I typed in, well, this is something here. Oh, what is this here? Oh, yeah, sure. This is something else over here. Let me get this out of here for a second here. This is one person I was watching here. Um, yeah. I typed in, what I did is, well, he was. this is one of the guys I typed in. And I got this over here, right? And I'm going to do the search. And when I came up with the search, I think this is the one that came up, this guy here. He's good. He's talking about this camera. It's the same one, if I can get here. Let's see. Yeah, there's a couple of them like that, but I picked him out, okay? I, I always went to the first one for some reason, and it's the same exact camera, okay? And he talks about it. We're not going to play the whole video, but uh, what, I did, what I did take notice is a lot of people, a lot of these guys that do these videos, um, they, they put out pretty good reviews, I have to honestly say, and this person uh, put out a pretty good one. I think so anyway, and I'm not, this is not a segue to him. I don't know this person. What's happening on YouTube? I'm I don't know this happening. person. I don't know this person from no, Adam or Eve, and I can't mute it. Chinese okay. <laughs> okay. Mute it. That's someone I muted. it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, this, I came across this video here, and I just want to move it up a little here for some reason. It doesn't want to go. My computer is really bad, folks. It's, uh, I really need to, I think it's time to upgrade if you get my drift. This is really annoying. I, it, it really is bothersome. Anyway, I came across this video. He's going to probably play now. Let me uh, mute it out just in case he does because I don't want any uh, copyright things. Um, he talks about it. He talks about all accessories you get with it, you know, the camera itself, the water case and stuff like that. And he also drops a link. A lot of these guys that do these reviews, which is good, they drop links down here. Well, and, uh, and I already keep getting them back in. See, that's how bad my computer is. <laughs> Let me shut this down. Um, so you go over here. He has it over here. This is the one I'm thinking of, unless it's another one. I don't think this is. I think uh, it's supposed to be, if I can get it here. What happened here? I want to show you here where you can get it. Anyway, then he must have did another video. Okay. He gave the uh, the Amazon. You can get the same camera that is being sold on um, what do you call it there? Home Depot for fifty dollars. Okay, it comes with different colors. This one here is the this is the white one or silver, whatever it is. Like a, well, it's like an off white. Uh, you can get this one over here from Amazon. Again, I have no affiliate links. I'm not telling you to buy this camera because I'm going to get a kickback. This is not my. You know, I'm not selling this on Amazon. I'm just showing you where you can get it a little cheaper. Um, a lot cheaper anyway, but at the same time, um, if you do a little more research, you can get these cameras, you can even get a GoPro for a little, you know, a few bucks extra. Now, for example, um, let me go over here, for example, yeah, I typed in over here. Now, if you, this is another thing I want to share with you guys too. Again, this is all eBay related, folks, just to let you know, this is not, you know, I'm not trying to lead into segways to buy different things or anything, because I don't, I'm not selling you these items. I'm just telling you, just sharing this information with you, but for a, for a, 
a little more money, you can go over here. Now, check this this uh, this uh, website out. It's called WatchCount.com. Really good site. Okay, I use this here a lot. Okay, whenever I want to find out certain, uh, th you know, other sellers, what categories are putting in, all the other items in. Uh, it, it's it's a very good site. It's a really good site. I do a lot of research with it as well. I did a video about it once before. Again, it's in the midst of those uh, other videos, so I really can't give you that uh, that URL to bring you there. But if I do, I will drop it in this link. But if you noticed here, uh, I typed in 4K action cameras, right? It brought up. Uh, this one here has 4,831 eBay watches. It's a it's a used GoPro Hero Black, right? Hero 5 Black watermark, uh, waterproof, waterproof, waterproof action 4K Ultra HD camera with touchscreen case. This is $119. The person's also taking the best offer with it, with it buying it now, and they're offering free shipping. Now you might say, wait, wait, I thought you were just talking about a cheap one. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there, in case you want a little better one. Um, here's another one over here. It's not. It's uh, it's a refurbished one. Same thing. Again, you got to do your shopping. This one's asking for uh, $129. But here's the ones. Like I said, now here's a GoPro. It looks like that one we just seen, right? The one for 50 bucks. This one here, the one that uh, Walmart. Oh, Walmart. See, I'm really getting screwed up. Uh, Home Depot is selling is for 89. Whoops. What happened here? It's selling it for 89 dollars, and it's it's a knockoff, right? But here, you can go here. And get one for eighty nine dollars, like new condition, okay. And it's GoPro, all right. GoPros have a good have a good uh, rating as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I don't I don't own one, but following other people that do have them, uh, they love them. There's one guy that I, when they come out, he just buys them. But then again, the prize guy the guy's got some cash to probably play around with. Where want to get, take a guy like me, I always got to buy stuff that's second hand in some cases, uh, like this one over here. This is the uh, H, you know, used GoPro Hero 4 Silver 4K HD. The $64 and change, well, $65, right? Here's one over here, refurbished Hero 3. Right now they're getting a little cheaper, $54 and so on. Okay, here's a whole, looks like a whole kit and caboodle you're getting here. Okay, this is $89, refurbished. But again, you're getting a GoPro, all right? Um, the reason why I'm bringing this out to your attention, look at the price of these things, though. This is the Hero 8. This is the one the guy bought. He goes, oh, when it came out, I was watching the YouTube guy. He goes, oh, when it came out, he goes, I didn't even ask the price because I just bought it. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> the guy's got some cash to play around with. It's a little too rich for my blood, $479. But um, this person uses it exclusively to do his videos where I use uh, an HP webcam to do my videos. And I think they come out, they think the clarity is pretty good in here. Uh, that webcam, you know, was under 100 bucks. that I'm only using right now to do the video. The one on the lower case here, the webcam video one you see here, that's a Logitech one I'm using. So, uh, you know, I got that, though, for 10 bucks though, at my local thrift store. The one I'm talking to, I'm pointing this right now, that one there I got with a little mini tripod at a local thrift store for 10 bucks with the tripod. Normally, I think the thing goes for, I think that's the Logitech HP, I forget what it is, C2, whatever. It's got it, I forget the name of it offhand, the make. Well, I mean, I don't know the make, the uh, model number, but I think it goes for about $80. I got it for 10 bucks with the little tripod. Um, but again, the reason why I'm bringing this out to you guys is because there are people out there that may want to do that. I don't, I don't like I said, again, I don't, I'm not going to walk into a yard sale, garage sale with the thing strapped on my, my chest over here because someone had the thing like a strap. You know, you're walking in, you know, you feel like a cop. You know, I got a body cam here, you know. <laughs> That's what it becomes, a body cam. And I see another person walk around with a hat on there. And some people say, oh, you know, I've seen other videos. People say, oh, you got, you got the GoPro there. I, and the reason why I think they question it, folks, when people go to yard sales and they question it, I don't think they really like the idea of it, to be honest with you. Well, for the simple reason, right, you're not really videotaping their house, their, their, their address or anything like that. But I don't think people like that there. I think, you know, I, I mean, to be honest with you, um, how I would feel if somebody came to my house for a yard sale and they have a, Go, a GoPro or whatever, a body, cam, you know, body camera strapped to them, um, I would probably be a little reluctant, you know, a little standoff. It's like, you know, I don't, really don't like the idea of being videotaped because some of the people even show the faces of the people selling it. So, you know, I don't know, you know. That's why uh, I, I'm doing this video just to, just to throw it out there to you guys. I'm not saying it's the worst thing in the world. And that's what they call them, action cameras. Some people use them. They go on, like they're doing riding bicycles or they're going skiing and they're going surfing, whatever. They have these things strapped to them. 
you know, but that's different. You know, you're doing something for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Your, your person jumps out of a plane and want to skydive and, you know, show you what the earth looks like from 10,000 feet in the air. Um, that's okay. But for the most part, not for me. But if you guys are going to look into this here because you want to, you know, do something similar to that, then check out, go to watchcount.com, go to this site here. That's the, that's, that is the URL, watchcount.com. Check them out. Type in it. Anything you type in there, pretty much, you're going to get uh, responses to it. And what I like about it is it goes, you know, it's pretty much right there. It kind of like scopes everything out for you, okay? So check it out if you get a chance. And if you are interested in stuff like this here, again, even with this, with the GoPros, I highly recommend you go to YouTube, copy and paste what you're looking for. For example, like this one here. All right, I'm not going to type in the word, uh, what do you call it, refurbish. What I would do is I would, you know, copy uh, GoPro Hero 5. I'm just using an example. Waterproof Action Cam Ultra High D camera with touchscreen. And then I pop it into YouTube on the search there, see what comes up, and, and look at the reviews. See what the person's talking about, you know, their demos. And, you know, it may not be for you. You may say, no, nah, I don't. I don't really need a camera, an expensive camera, or even a refurbished one for that price. I, you know, maybe a cheap $50 one would do the job. And it probably would. It probably would. Look, I'm using an HP webcam here. I only pay, this thing was, I think, under $100. And I think the pictures come out pretty decent, you know, give or take. I think they're pretty good. Uh, it's not an ultra 4K. It's, uh, it's 1080p. But it does the job. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I just wanted to share with you guys really quick, and that other one I seen there, that one that person that I pulled off of that person's uh, video, uh, it referred me to this one here, and you can see it's for fifty dollars, and plus it's free shipping. Okay, arise what? Arise November thirtieth, January fourth. Oh jeez, wow. Okay, <laughs> you got plenty of time for that. Anyway, um, I, it's probably this. You know what? I this might be a drop ship thing, to be honest with you. If it's taking that long, ugh. anyway. Um, <laughs> Oh, if you're in a hurry, you could always just go to your local Best Buy or Micro Center. We have a Micro Center electronics, so I could just probably buy one right there, and then you'll probably get paid full price, though, unless they have a sales price. But anyway, um, that's the deal with that there. All right, enough with the uh, cameras. Let me just bump out of it really quick, get out of here. Um, let me bump out of this one here. Now I want to talk about some things I want to share with you guys. Uh, let's see, this is the, um, yeah, let me get out of watch count. What I want to talk about now is making some money on, uh, well, some things you can make money with, right? Uh, let me get out of this one here. This is a current status. We don't want that. Um, to help you guys out, all right? Help us out. Help me out, too. Um, here's a thing called Teespring, okay? I don't know if you guys are familiar with Teespring. They make T-shirts and so on and so forth. This came to me as a Google alert, and it's uh, Teespring Go, how to source and sell custom patches. Now, I know you're probably saying, ah, custom patches, I'm not really interested in this, but I like to throw things out there. Anything to help make money or give people ideas on, you know, how to, you know, uh, take something as simple as this here and make a few bucks out of it. I'm always willing to share it. And I got this here as a, I think it was a Google alert. And uh, for Teespring, if people don't know, you can make T-shirts and stuff like that. They do all that custom stuff for you. But this one here caught my eye. It says Teespring Go, how to source and sell custom patches. It says a new features by Kate Snow, I guess, uh, yeah, June 17, 2020, of course, it was back then. It says we streamlined the process to help you easily source and sell custom patches. This product is perfect for enhancing your wardrobe and adding personal touch to uh, items like backpacks, beanies, uh, beanies, jackets, and more. Uh, once you unlock the patches, the launcher will be able to submit your product for request for processing. Just like lapel pins, keychains, patches cannot be produced on demand and require a minimum order of quantity of 100 units. Okay? Um, you know, and it gives you a little more information on it here. Part one, customizing your patch, and you'll put the, the rest of the information in here. Um, here's part two, sourcing and selling patches. So this may be something you may want to look into. Okay? It's like if you're going to do merch, uh, that's what I would use. Like I, I have two designs shirts, but and I did it through um, Amazon Merch, but and using their their software stuff to create these things. I don't know if I'm getting any sales. I don't see. I don't get any notifications from. So they can't be in high demand. But um, you never know, right? I'm trying. Like I said, I'm still trying to feel. I'm treading the water here. So anyway, but if you get a chance, check it out. Um, doesn't hurt to look into it. If you don't like it, you know it's. Just putting it out there. All right. The next thing over here is uh, the one I was talking about 
transferring your idea, transform your ideas into a stunning visual stories. This is from Adobe Spark, okay? And it goes on here with Adobe Spark. Let me just go back to the page. Let me just page back here. Let me see here for a second here. Yeah, this is the video I was listening to. We don't really need to listen to that just yet. You guys could always do that on your time uh, when you get the time to do it. And let me just move over here. I, I'm not, I, I know of Adobe, but I wasn't familiar with Adobe Spark. Now, what happened here? Okay, this is what caught my eyes. See, I did a thing here, uh, free color. Now, look, now this is, look, look at how I got to this window. I put free color tools for YouTube videos. Now, you're probably wondering, what do you mean free color tools? I was watching a YouTube video just now. Let me go over here anyway. I was watching a YouTube video you know, before I did this one here. And you know when people put those little arrows in there, they draw up really quick and stuff like that? I was looking for that type of software thing there. Where I wonder if I you know, download a free application for that there. And lo and behold, as I was scanning, because I'm very curious by nature, I came across this, like, right, create, create YouTube videos for free in minutes. I said, what, what's this all about? And basically, you could it goes over here, start now for free. For those of you who don't use software like I use, um, in case you're wondering, I use uh, Wondershare Filmora 8.76 version. They got the 9.5 version. I sound like a broken record. I'm always talking about that. Um, you could create videos like that. You could try, well, you could try Wondershare Filmora uh, 9.5 version for free, but I think it has the water. Yeah, it's going to have the watermark on it unless you make a person, you know, the purchase. I bought the first one, so I get the upgrade for free. Anyway, um, I, this caught my eyes. It said, create YouTube video now. And it goes on your YouTube video editor made easy. Now, if you're a person, and I do encourage people, especially if you're an eBay seller, start a YouTube channel. There are a lot of eBay sellers out there that have YouTube channels. Seriously, you type in eBay, uh, whatever, sourcing or eBay treasure hunting, whatever, you're gonna get, you're gonna get a lot of people that have video that have YouTube channels that are in integrating them with their eBay uh, business. This is why I'm trying to tell you guys. This is why I want to share with you. That's why I'm doing this video here. I know it's a little going back and forth with the cameras and now this, but seriously, um, if you get a chance, check this out. I'll give you the URL. All right. Um, I'm not gonna. I don't want to take too too much of your time because I know you guys are busy. Check this out if you get a chance. The URL. Is, well, they got it over here as HTTPS, but I always like to go to www. So www.spark.adobe.com, okay? Or you can just type in or do a Google search to type in Adobe Spark. Check this out if you get a chance, okay? And it tells you how to make a YouTube video. Start with a new project. Add media to these slides. Select pre-designed layouts. Use text communication key for, uh, communicate uh, key information or calls to action. Spice it up with the theme and soundtrack. Publish and share. Customize YouTube video uh, even more. Okay, uh, professional results for your YouTube channel. Spark features and so on and so forth. Look, I even got like some samples over here, right? So you could check out examples. All right, you got the uh, rose, rose gold eight, and you got uh, botanical, botanical, yeah, botanicals club, whatever. I didn't get a chance. I only played the first one. I want to see what it's all about. Um, check it out if you get a chance. And if you use it, and you like it. Drop it in a comment below. Let us know. Let the rest of us know. I'm gonna, you know something? Even though I use the software uh, when to share, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it with this here. I really am. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna do. Um, maybe I'll just do a product uh, product review video, or maybe I'll just do a, a eBay video um, about the stuff I'm selling on there. But I'm gonna definitely try it out. So I'm gonna leave that window open. The other thing I want to share with you guys really quick is this program called Street Pricer. I like this here. I like it for, for a number of reasons. Number one, it gives you competitive uh, pricing with your, uh, with, the, with your competitors, okay? Um, I'm not getting any of this for this, folks, okay? Just to let you know, I, again, any of the websites I give you, I do not have any affiliate links with them. If I did, I would, you'd be the first to know gospel truth. I'm not going to lie and, you know, have people go there and then, you know, no, I don't. Um, if I did, I will let you know. Street Pricer is pretty good. Okay, I had the free I had the free version. Again, I like free stuff. I love the word free when it comes to things like that. I know people say, well, not everything's free. Well, in this particular case, it is. You don't get all the bells and whistles with the free versions whenever you're getting whenever you're, you're uh, applying to these type of um, programs. But you know what? If you can get a little tidbit information, just like with my videos, I put out these videos here. 
hoping you guys will get a little tidbit of information. And if it's helpful to you, and it does, if it, it, it's very, um, you know, helpful to you guys where it helped you out in sales or business, whatever, that means a lot to me. Okay, that, that's, that's a plus as far as I'm concerned. Um, what I like about it here is they got over here the Dash, Radar, eBay listings, settings, and so on and so report, and reports. Now, if you go over here to the eBay listings, this is the Dash, but we'll get back to that in a little bit. Um, the de yeah, the eBay listings I want to go to. Um, it's got over here, it breaks it down like this here, folks. It's got the, uh, my, my, my listings, it goes under Shop RJ Pacine for great deals. And it will give you some of the information here. It'll give you the SKU ID number, suspects, competitors. Now, you don't see them here, but I'm going to show you a window when we get to it. I had the basic service. Remember that, folks. I got the basics. So with the basics, you're not going to get too, too many uh, bells and whistles with it. But let's go over here to competitors. Let's click on competitors. I'll be, I'm on the top here. You can see my mouse moving. I'm on the radar, and I'm going to go to competitors, all right? And I do apologize, but my computer running slow. <laughs> okay. What's nice about this here, it gives you a side-by-side -side, uh, idea of what your competitors are selling, the same particular merchandise that you're selling. For example, my user ID pops up here, shop RJ Pacific Great Deals, along with their, you know, with the, well, they say suspect. I know, right? Um, and they'll tell you what you're selling it for, what they're selling it for, Price plus shipping, price plus shipping. Now, you could also remove these two if you want, and you could also change the view from gallery to list. I like to keep it on gallery. I like to see the side-by-side -side comparisons. Again, this person here is selling theirs for $8.94. I'm selling them for $8.98, okay? These are some of the items I'm selling, all right? And it goes on and on and on. Now, what else is good about this here is the quantity sold. Now, in some cases, let's go back up here to suspects. Oh, no, do we do competitors? Oh, no, we're on suspects, right? Now, I want to do competitors. Let's go to the competitor one. This is compet yeah, this is competitors, right? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm in the right one here. Okay. All right. So, over here, like the Sims 2, Nightlife, right? Game, PC, DC, uh, yeah, CD game. It says $8.98, and my competitor is selling theirs for $5 plus shipping. Okay? What I like about this here, though, is if you scroll down, in some cases, you'll see the ones that have sold. Now, as, you, as I look, I don't see, all right, here's one over here, uh, Connect. Okay, I'm selling Connect, um, Adventures Xbox 360 game. When you look over here, Quantity 22 sold. Mine, Shop RJ Pacini, for $10.03, you know, price per shipping, sold zero. Okay, uh, they have for $5.25 price plus shipping. They sold theirs, I didn't, and they're saying very good. All right, they're saying mine's also very good too. But uh, it looks like they're sold, okay, as opposed to mine still hanging in there. I didn't, you can see the quantity, right? But they sold 22 according to this here. What I like about it is, like I said again, you could do the side by side comparison. That's what I like about it. And if you have, depending on how many you have, mine's got over here, it says showing one of 10 of 139 entries. So all I have right now on eBay listing is uh, 156 items, okay? And I have to be honest with you, it's been bumpy road. I don't know. And I know with everything going on with the economy, with the political political uh, things going on, I don't get into, re I don't discuss religion and politics on my YouTube channel. As long, and I also don't use profanity on it. So I'm not going to go into those areas if anytime soon. Not, in, not, in, not even soon. Um, but anyway, and then, like I said, and then they have other things. If you go to the dashboard, of course, um, you can get some more information. What I like at the dashboard, it gives you your, you know, how many items you have in stock, which I have 156 items in stock. Price above competitor is one, okay? And it breaks it down. Items on the floor, zero. Price revisions, uh, last 24 hours was eight. Uh, I did change some things on there. Uh, but if you look over here, it gives you a sales overview, okay? Quantity and sales, okay? Here's the quantity and here's the sales in blue. Oh, no, yeah, no, I'm sorry. The uh, black little uh, dots there, circles are these sales, okay? And the uh, blue is the co uh, quantity. And you can see here, then so-so, all right? It breaks it down that way. Then they also have one over here, uh, a velocity indicator, okay? Last 90 days, it shows you listings, whatever sold, all right? Zero, which that there is, I did sell some items, not much. 
uh, for this one here, for the last seven days, it did sell four, if I'm not mistaken, four items did sell. But it breaks it down that way, the last 90 days, 60 days, 30s, and seven, seven days, which is good. Your competitor search, uh, total listings of variations, 156. Again, with suspects, 11. With competitors, 11. And then it says with item specifics and keywords, was 29, whatever, and they, got, they break it down this way. You know... When you learn a new, when you when you get involved with a new application like this here, I, I use it on occasion. I don't, I'm not 100% uh, diverse in it, but as you go along, you'll start to get all the little, you know, uh, digging deep into it. You know, what I'm saying with all the uh, specifications and all the uh, analytics part behind it, you'll start learning more about it. Um, I think it's a good thing. I like it. Like I said again, I don't have. Uh, I'm not on the paid, the, you know, the upgrade one. Because, like I said again, I want to, you know, I'm trying to save money as well. Um, business is kind of like, you know, semi-slow right now. Um, but then again, you know, I think what's going on in the economy, I think people, not too many people are focusing on uh, buying stuff right now. So I think, you know, it does play, take a little toll on sales some, to some point. I know it kind of affects me a little. Um, I've been finding that, you know, doing my research and stuff like that, um, you guys won't see because you know I'm not going to do a live video, but I get like little um, what do you call it? The notifications throughout the course of the day. I'm on this thing from like six o'clock in the morning to like twelve midnight, you know. Sometimes one o'clock in the morning. Depends what I'm doing, and I get them all day. I get these notifications. Now people say, well, simple. Turn off your notifications. You won't get them. But the information I get, you know, these notifications. Uh, do pertain to you know online selling some deals with what's going on today you know if you get my drift but um for the most part and you know it kind of like draws your attention says like oh this looks interesting let me check this out you know get these news alerts and uh you know i always like to be informed of certain things like i said i don't discuss religion and politics on my youtube channel so um you won't hear me talking about those type of topics i won't uh there are people that do uh, have YouTube channels like that. And I always say if that's what you're looking for, then my channel is probably not the place where you want to be. But uh, for the most part, I like to share information with people, okay? This type of information, not that other type, all right? Uh, anyway, so let's see what else they have over here. They got the reports. Let's see the auto pricing here. Um, I get Now, this comes to me as an email. I get the email notifications from Street Pricer, okay? And... Um, let me see if they got the things here where you can get the price, just to give you an idea what the pricing is here. Um, well, let me get to that in a second. But here they have auto price jobs. I think you could set this up, all right, if I'm not mistaken. I think you could set this up. Yeah. See, auto price hot list items. This is stuff that I think you have to, you have to set up manual, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Uh, then they got the task, all right? Well, there's not really, too, I don't think I have too many things up here. Uh, important active uh, eBay shop, RJ Piscini, okay? Um, completed. I'm not. I'm not too up on this one here, as far as that part goes. Reports, task. I don't really have too much in that. Um, and then over here, they got stores and listings on the reports. Uh, eBay blacklist and whitelist. I don't know. Um, I don't really. I don't think I have anything on that there. No, you you shouldn't see anything there. I don't. I don't put anybody on on the. Um, I don't block buyers. You know, even like people say, oh well, you, you get buyers that. That make purchase, you know, you don't, you know, you don't block them. No, I don't. I don't. Some people, some people will uh, will block a a potential buyer because they have zero feedback or they got one feedback. And I, we all started that way, you know. So I don't, no, I don't do that there. I don't. The people are wondering, I don't. Um, and then let's see the task here. But it is, it is pretty good. I have to honestly say, street pricer is pretty good. Um, if you get a chance, you might want to check it out. Um, Order flow or ceiling notifications. Again, you can get the notifications by email. That's how I set it up. Okay, and you've got eBay listings. And again, uh, again with the radar, I like that there because you can check out your competitors. I'm pretty much. <laughs> I'm not worried about too much of suspects. I'm concerned about the competitors. Like this one here, they they highlight it with the red here. Uh, you know, they're trying to show you that there's a little difference here. It's four cents cheaper. Right, and price and shipping, and this person's selling it, right? And, you know, you could also remove it, too, if you want to just clear it out or whatever, for whatever reason. But what I do, like I said, again, about the competitors, it does do a side-by-side -side comparison, and it kind of gives you an idea, hey, maybe I'm charging too much, too little, whatever. Uh, now, over here in this particular one here, I'm charging a little cheaper than this person, 
you know. Now, I don't know if they got if they made a sale or not. I didn't get a chance to look them up. But, um, you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And last thing I want to share with you guys really quick, outside of street price. And I, did I give you the app for that there? Let's go back to this window really quick. I want to give you the app. Okay. Well, all right. It's bringing me back to the dashboard. Okay. That's all right. Um, just want to put, well, I'll give you the app. It's, um, well, actually, I'll make sure I'm not giving you the wrong thing here. Street price. All right, it's going to keep bringing it back over here. Um, all right, it's street. Just type in street pricer. It'll be www.streetpricer.com. You do it that way here. This one here, um, I, it's going to bring you. I don't think it's going to bring it to my app, but just go to streetpricer.com. All right, uh, get. Let's get rid of that one there. And I want to share this with you guys really quick. And this is going to close the video out. This is Tame Bay. This is from Tame Bay. I like. There's two sites I use pretty much exclusively. Well, the first one is ecommercebytes.com. That I love. That's my go-to one. And the other one is TameBay. TameBay is a UK-based uh, business service uh, well, that does this here about uh, eBay. And uh, they're located in the UK. And um, as far as I know, they are, unless they change, they got an office out here. But I was, was told that they were in the UK. Um, they're good, too. But uh, let me just share this story with you. Let me give the URL. It's www.tamebay.com. And it goes on to say eBay. Uh, eBay pay-as-you-go scheme for startups and small businesses. <laughs> this story came out October 7, 2020, came out today. It goes on to say, a new eBay pay-as-you-go grow scheme, right, promises no fees for any first-time sellers registering on eBay UK in response to the challenges of, uh, challenges of COVID-19. The marketplaces are removing all fees for the first-time sellers for their hundred first hundred sales each month, okay. Um, reading a little more into it, it says with a very uh, with a very real expectation that thousands will be made redundant in the coming weeks. eBay pay as you go grow. Uh, eBay pay as you go right. eBay pay as you grow has been designed as a lifeline to those who want to build an online enterprise by lowering the barrier to entry by enabling growth before costs come in, okay? It goes, it builds on eBay's continued efforts to create new economic opportunities right across Britain, following a wide range of seller support policies brought in since the start of the pandemic and alongside their ongoing investment in eBay for charity. Now, I'm not gonna read this whole story. Um, there's quite a bit, well, not that much to read, but like I said, that's why I give everybody the, uh, on, on any of the websites I go to, I always give you the URLs, unless if I forget, and if I do forget, I do apologize. But that's why I give you URLs to pick up where I left off, and you could read more into it. And the other reason why I'm on the topic of, of websites, the reason why I tell you guys to go there is because these websites have active hyperlinks in them. Like, for example, this one here, right? If you look over here on Marketplace News, you might want to read this here, okay? It may not be of interest to me right now, but it may be of interest to you. And in order to activate these here, you need to go directly to the website. So, plain and simple. All right, I'm going to back out of this bit, out of this uh, page here, and we're going to close this video out. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you found the information helpful, and if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and if you want to be updated to when I post that new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. You're watching Let's Talk eBay for October 7, 2020. I just want to say again, thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out these videos. I do hope you find them informative. I know this, this particular video might have been a little all over the place, and I do apologize about that, but I just wanted to get that out there. And, folks, let me just tell you one thing. The information I put out is business-related, okay? In some, most cases, so I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time, it's um, uh, all business-related. Um, you know, I do like to talk about YouTube, okay? On occasion, I do like to talk about because I am a vlogger. And pretty much, I'm pretty much trying to do daily vlogs too. So that's probably why my my <laughs> uh, what do you call that? My uh, YouTube videos are going up. Was I think it's up at 1,262 or 63, whatever. And uh, you know, I, being a vlogger, uh, especially doing on a daily va basis, um, you know, it does get a little time consuming. And it, you know, here's the thing. Here's, here's one of the takeaways from being a vlogger uh, is coming up with good content. All right, and if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, that's why I showed you that thing there because it does relate. Okay, having a YouTube channel does relate with the business. You can make it like that, I'm saying, okay? 
Um, I do, okay? Uh, how? Sometimes I will throw in when I'm doing a reselling news or Let's Talk eBay, I might throw a little audio, you know, the audio video clip at the back of my videos just showing you scrolling down the things I have to offer, okay? There are times I might throw a little segue out there uh, for my YouTube videos, uh, for my, well, actually my YouTube videos as well, but for my uh, eBay listings to share that information with you guys out there. You know, you may be a potential buyer. You may want to, you know, check into and see what I have to offer. But for the most part, um, yes, I, I do uh, really recommend and I really think it is worth having a, a YouTube channel, especially, if, you know, that works in conjunction with your uh, eBay business, okay? If you look at other YouTubers, uh, YouTube creators, YouTubers, right? YouTube creators, uh, you'll know, and, and not only that, uh, I'm talking about the eBay ones, they have channels. And a lot of those guys, i got to say one thing, the ones I follow, um, I notice one thing, the ones that have thousands of subscribers, they're getting their business. They're getting their business from their viewers, from their subscribers. And how I know, because it's just like, if you were to buy something from me, let's say you were to buy this mouse, this Logitech mouse from me, okay? And I'm doing a video, I'm telling you all the things that sold and this and the other thing. And then I came up and say, oh, well, thank you, Charlie, for the purchase of this, uh, this, this Logitech wireless mouse here. Thank you for your purchase. It'll be sent out this week or whatever. These people are talking about, you know, making sales, and they're telling you, you know, when they're doing a video, that their, their subscribers are buying stuff from them. So that's what I'm trying to say. It can, it can lead into uh, a very profitable thing in some cases, okay? The people I follow... Uh, uh, eBay sellers that have YouTube channels, they're always making sales. They're always making sales. And, you know, I make sales, but not like they do. And they'll tell you, I, I was watching one person, I'm not going to give the URL away, I'm not going to, you know, talk about that person. I mean, they had like a whole, whole I got a desk, my desk is yay big by yay big. The whole, practically the whole thing is filled up with, with stuff they're selling. What they probably sell in one day is probably what it takes me months to sell. So, as far as I'm concerned, having a YouTube channel does help, okay? It does help. And the reason why it helps, and the reason why I say you should have it, is because you could drop links to your store on your YouTube channel. Seriously, okay? Now, right now, because I don't have a thousand subscribers, I can't put merch up there to buy T-shirts or hats or whatever. I can't do it. Because I don't have that, I don't have that, I didn't meet that threshold. But if you guys do, you know, take, the, take up, you know, take this into consideration. And, and if you are a, uh, an eBay seller and you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I highly recommend you go for it, folks. Seriously. And you might say, well, what am I going to talk about? Just like everybody else, what, what they talk about. You could talk about your sales. You could talk about the things that sold. You could talk about your, uh, the thrift stores you went to, your yard sales, whatever. You may, heck, heck, you may be one of those people that might have the, uh, the GoPro strapped onto your shirt or the hat. You know, you might say, well, I'm going to, I see, listen, the people I follow, no, no exaggeration, the people I follow are eBay sellers. They all have GoPros and they're going to stores and yard sales and everything. So you may want to, you know, you may fit in that category. You may want to do that. I mean, I don't, right now at this stage of the game, um, I don't know. I don't think I would do that just yet. I don't know. I, again, because I'm not really, I don't want to contradict myself, but I don't know how the other people feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that you got to think about, you know. But um, who knows, you know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the people don't really care. I don't know. I just don't want to do it. I feel kind of awkward doing it, you know. Um, but people seem to like those videos, though. I have to honestly say, uh, people like those videos. But I will say this, uh, which I find kind of, well, not amusing. I kind of find a little gray area there. Uh, a lot of these people that are eBay sellers that do have YouTube channels, um, when they sit there telling you what they bought it for and what they're selling it for, I think it kind of like gets people a little un uh, unnerving, if you know what I'm saying. They, they, it's like, how did I was I was one site, I was on one uh, eBay seller's uh, YouTube channel, and this person's going around telling them, you know, telling the whole world, which okay, that's your prerogative. This person's telling the whole world, oh, I bought this for fifty cents, I bought this for a dollar, I sold this for fifty bucks or sixty dollars, and 
When I seen that person's YouTube channel, it was an eBay seller had a YouTube channel, and I started, I said, I got to check out the comments on this. And I scroll down, and I'm looking, I'm looking. Then I come across, I think it was either two or three comments. How dare you buy something so cheap and sell it for so much money? You should be ashamed of yourself. Then another one was like, uh, how could goodwill? How could you do that at goodwill? That's supposed to go. That money's supposed to go for charity. But the people don't realize though what they're talking about in that, in that, in that particular comment is a person that's making the purchase. It's a, he's already doing good good deed in a sense, right? He's he's making a purchase. What I think what I think drives people crazy is that when a person's buying something so cheap and selling for so much money, you know, I think that's what gets people a little upset. You know, they, it's like, how could you do that? You know, um, heck, I was following a guy just before I did this YouTube channel. Oh, my YouTube video here. Um, he's selling a Barbie dolls. Um, he paid, I don't know, this guy paid, I forget how much he paid for it. He sold one Barbie doll for $425 for a Barbie doll. So, you know, you could be in a thrift store. You could pick up an item like that. From 1977, 19, early 70s, whatever, and if it's you know if it's in primo condition, like it's in a box and nothing's damaged, you know, and you're getting it from a thrift store. Let's say you paid five bucks for it, and if a person's making that kind of money on it, kudos to them, you know. Remember one thing, you know, when I was going to college for you know for business, in the marketing class, like the teacher would say, the professor would say. Everything has a market value. It finds its, it's, it's like, it's like, you know, water finds a, you know, they say water finds its level, whatever. It's the same thing with, with, the, with retailing. People are only going to pay for what they feel it's worth to them. You may say, well, I want this much. That's why eBay has best offer. Okay. You may sit there saying, well, if I bought, like, again, I'll use this mouse. I say, well, I want $30 for this mouse. I feel it's worth 30 bucks. Somebody comes and I'll give you 15 for it. No, 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 I want 30 bucks for it. You know, you'll end up losing the sale, right? Because the potential buyer, that's what they felt it was worth, okay? It's like that, it's like that old saying, the law of supply and demand. Once the law of supply and demand is met, the items come down, the prices come down. It's, that's what, what makes it rare is when there's a, a limitation on it, when there's a limit on how, much things, how many things that he's being sold. Just like certain uh, stamps or... Certain, I don't know, like at that time there, they were talking about um, with the Apple computer. They only made so many Apple computers, right, back then. And people were selling them for decent prices and stuff like that, getting pretty good uh, market value prices. We were getting a, they were good, you know, we were making money on them. But for the most part, you know, it doesn't matter uh, what you feel it's worth. It's what the, what the consumer feels, you know. And you can hold out. I've declined people. Um, I had items I felt were really cheap because the way I do my, when it comes to my listings and my, um, I do my comps, I don't go too high and I don't go too low. I like to stay right in the middle. And sometimes, even in the middle, I said in my other videos, even in the middle, you still could lose money. You know, you, you still might make a very small profit. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of little variables with this here. Now this other guy, now this guy I follow, this one particular guy I follow, I'm not going to give you the URL, so please don't ask me. I, you know, he's, this person's doing very well from if you get my drift. This person has, I think, two or three eBay stores. Now, and supposedly, I know it's two stores, or I think it's, was it two? Okay, I got a piece of paper right there. There's another one, I, I can't find it yet. But on these two particular stores, this person's making money hand over fist. And I was looking at, because they're showing like a screen, his screen, you know, of uh, eBay things. You know, again, it's like anything else. Um, he had listed up there, um, your, your total, what if everything sold? Well, you gotta figure the cost, of your, your cost of goods and your eBay fees and everything. But it was a total like 60 something thousand dollars. But then again, the person has, I think, almost 1,200 and something items listed in one store and the other store has got like 600 items so when this person's you know dishing out all of that those sales to us when you go to the person's site and you look and say oh my gosh look at this look at all the stuff this yeah they got two they got two um, stores eBay stores 
One's got over twelve. Uh, one's got over uh, well, twelve hundred items. The other one's got, uh, I, I think, over six hundred. So you're making money either way. If one store's not making the money, you get the other store making the money. But I, when I look at this, because the person will show you all the items packed up, is like, my gosh, what they probably sell in a month, I probably don't make any. I don't probably don't do it in half a year probably. But um, but I'm I'm learning a little, the little tricks to the trades here as far as that. With eBay, you gotta explore, and you gotta you gotta you gotta play around with it. You know, what I'm saying you gotta you gotta, you know, work it. Um, like for example, I was looking up Hot Wheels cars, and you know what? I was checking somebody out on uh, WatchCount.com, and I'm saying, why does this person have so many so many uh, watches? I think it was in the thousands. And I'm looking at this person and the car. I figured what the car was. And I noticed the person had, instead of one category, they used two categories. So when eBay's algorithm goes searching out there, right, this person's got Hot Wheels, and I guess it's a, a rare car. He's got it in that category there. So, you know, he's got two different categories set up. Well, not two different, but an additional category. You know, it, it's bound to happen. This person's going to get found. But you're paying for those additional categories, too. See, I try to do everything on the cheap. Sometimes you can't be too cheap when it comes to things of that nature, but it happens, you know? But you'll see as you go along, if you're a newbie to eBay or if you're a newbie to YouTube, um, you're going to find out these little tricks to the trade as time goes on. I'm still learning, folks. I'm still learning. Um, you know, when I bought this here, this this gimbal and stuff like that, I bought this iPhone. I bought this pre-owned, of course. I didn't buy it brand new. Um, brand new would probably goes. I don't know how much it would cost back then, but they got the new. Now the iPhone took out the iPhone. They came out the new one, the iPhone SC. I think it's for I think four hundred dollars or under four hundred dollars. I'm not buying it, of course not. Um, this is one of the latest editions right here. You know what this is, folks? This is the Blue Yeti. Well, I think it's called a Blue Yeti. Oh, yeah, Yeti. Like all blue yeti, but it's black. <laughs> it's gonna get blue. Um, this was uh, given to me as a gift. Um, a relative of mine said, "I don't really use it. I guess they bought it with the intention of making videos, and they decided later on, nah, I'm not gonna do it." So it was given to me. So I said, "Thank you ever so much," because I wanted to buy one of these. I seen a lot of YouTube creators, podcasters, and stuff like that, and they always had these uh, blue yeti mics, and I love it. And I was looking for this one here. This is the one I always wanted anyway. It's the black with the silver top. <clears throat> now they make them all black and black and blue, white. They, they come in different colors, red. They're nice, but I like this. Yeah, I like the contrast. I like the silver and black. It's nice. And, uh, and these things are really made well, too. But I didn't buy this, folks. Okay? Because you're probably saying, well, for a person that's frugal, why do you go out and buy a Blue Yeti? Because people know these things are kind of pricey. The Micro Center store I went into, talking about Blue Yeti mics, I seen one of, I don't know if it was an upgraded one, whatever. It was $259. And there was no way I would spend that kind of money. If anything, I would just went on eBay and bought a pre-owned one for 50, 60 bucks, whatever. Well, some of them, you know, depends what you're getting. But I, I wouldn't spend that kind of money, you know? Uh, like I was talking about even looking into a wireless mic. They're expensive, some of them, you know? Uh, and the only reason why I wanted a wireless mic is when I used my video camera, my digital video camera. Um, sometimes I shoot from a distance, and I don't have a boom mic on it. So if people are talking, or if I'm, well, if I'm talking, if I'm talking, you can't hear me. I sound like an echo. It's like I'm like a mile away. But I said to myself, right now, I don't need it. I seen them cheap. Uh, you could probably get those things. I think the ones I was looking for, my camera, my Sony digital camera, I think for like sixteen, seventeen dollars, they got the extended mic there. You know, um, I don't know how good it is. But in some cases, if you're gonna take this up serious, you know, you might want to buy semi good stuff. Not 100%, because if you're in a budget like I am, you, you, you go for second best, so to speak, you know? I can't afford the best things, you know? I can't. I'll be, up to, I'll be up front and honest to tell you. I can't. But for the most part, the stuff I use, I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with my webcam. I'm happy with this mic. Uh, for the longest time, I was using a lab tech mic, a little skinny mic, and it worked. It worked. If you look at my older videos, that's what I was using. It's a little skinny lab tech. You probably know what I'm talking about, you know? Uh, and it's on like a little bass and stuff like that, but it worked. It did the job. You could hear me talking, you know. Um, this one here has got probably better clarity, I would think, you know. But for the most part, I didn't buy this here. The only thing I bought, like I said, to add to my 
my uh, YouTube creation or arsenal, if you want to call it that, is my um, my, my gimbal, well, Vimble. So I'm hoping they, uh, I'm hoping they get back to me because I really want to get this thing to work. People say, well, what do you want it to? What's so great about face tracking? I, you know, when I buy something, folks, and that's a feature that's supposed to work with with a particular item like this. I want it. You know, I want it. Why I want it is, is another story, but I want everything to work. I paid for it. Not that I paid a lot, but it's part of the, uh, you know, one of their features with the Vimble. And I, I'm hoping, you know, they can help me out and get it to work because I really want it. And I'm not buying another one. Um, they have, Vim, no, Gimbal is not Vimble. This is a Vimble because it's, it's it also, it's a, um, a selfie stick. This, I don't know if you know that there, this is, this is, that's what I like about this here. Um, you grab it from here, you never grab it from the motor, and you can pull it out, and it becomes a selfie stick. Not, not like, like the other ones, your traditional ones, but it's almost that. Somebody said you could hold it by here if you want to get that extra, but I wouldn't do it because first off, you're screwing in here, it's screwed in here, the uh, tripod, and putting pressure on it, you might break it or bend the screw. I wouldn't do it, you know, but I would always grab it from the handle of here, but it's nice because you could still, you know, do it, you know, keep it away from you. You're not like right up to your face. Now, the ones they sell, I think, are fixed. So it'd be like this. Once you see, minus this thing without this thing on here. I don't think a lot of them have the tripod. I don't know if they do it. Maybe they do. You know, here you got to keep it so close to you. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that, that, I, this is the latest thing I had. I, and you know something? When I seen these things in action, I said, I've got to get one of these. But I didn't want to spend the money. And I, I have to say, honestly, thank you, eBay, for my gimbal. People say, yeah, your gimbal, it doesn't do any face track. I know it will. I'm sure it'll get it to work. It's probably a setting on my um, my phone. Maybe I don't have an updated app on it. I don't know. I tried every little thing. I couldn't get it to work. But we'll see what happens. You know, we'll take it one day at a time. All right, guys, listen. Um, I can't believe it's gone 3 p.m. already. You know, I got to say one thing. Doing videos, doing research with eBay and YouTube because like I said I also when I'm not doing you uh, YouTube I'm doing research on eBay when I'm doing, I'm doing research on eBay I'm doing research on YouTube to try to get my channel up there try to go subscriber base the time flow it goes so fast it, I, I never I never in my life seen time go so fast like like like, like these past four years and the reason I took out four years was I got laid off my last job in 2016 um, I went through two company layoffs and one company bankruptcy. And uh, but the last job I had was in 2016. And I have to honestly say, folks, I love that job. I love the people I worked with. It had great perks. Um, but I have to honestly say, as sad and depressing as it is, you know, I'm kind of like semi happy that you know I'm able to be able to do the things that I really you know like to do, like like create YouTube videos and and sell on eBay but I gotta honestly say I never seen four years go like that I, I honestly I mean this is crazy time I mean I, I don't know if you guys experience it but I never seen time go so fast I mean no matter how early I get up this morning I got up at believe it or not sounds crazy four o'clock in the morning went to bed early though it felt good going to bed early but I am um, operating on six hours of sleep but I'm just trying to say, you know, well, it's that old saying, early to bed, early to rise, right? I didn't want to get my 4 o'clock in the morning, to be honest with you. And uh, one of the first things I do in the morning is when I get up, turn the computer on, turn that coffee pot on, get ready to start making a cup of coffee, my first cup of coffee, because that's what gets me going in the morning. And then I'm back on here. I haven't been off it since, okay? It's going on 3 p.m. I'll break for dinner later. I already had lunch. I'll break for dinner. Spend some time with the family, whatever, and then I come back here, and then I'm, I'm stuck. Well, like I say stuck. I'm doing something I love, but then I'm on here till 12 midnight, one o'clock in the morning sometimes. So, all I'm saying is, if you guys are doing this on a full-time basis, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Egg, I never seen time so go so fast. I never did. All right, listen. Enough of the talk. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing reseller news today, guys. Um, I think I put enough stuff out today on this video I don't know how people are going to watch it to the end but anyway if you do that's great um, but if you do like this video little kid inside if you do like this video give it a thumbs up um, if you'd like any of my videos this one too uh, please subscribe to my channel like 
comment and share. And if you want to be updated when I post that new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. If you are still on eBay, I'm wishing you all the best in sales. Until next time, bye-bye for now.